This is the bonding conductor. The bonding conductor is connected with the ground boost bar. And the ground boost bar is coming from, 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 from the ground of the marina. The ground of the building, the pedestal. I have a question. What happened if in the pedestal, if in the marina, how much current should be flowing normally through the ground? Zero. Zero point zero zero zero. No? Zero. What happened if for some reason, I don't know what is the reason, in that building, in the ground, there are five volts? There's something wrong with it. That's good? It's wrong. Something is wrong in the wiring of this building. But in the in the ground. Cable is flowing constantly five volts with with 10 amps or something like this. <gasps> wow. What happened if those five volts enter in my boat and contaminate the ground and contaminate the bonding? Sorry. I have five volts moving through the through holes. Five volts moving through the fuel tank. Five volts moving through the block of the engine. Excuse me. What happened if I have five volts constantly with 10 amps flowing in through the true holes during the weekend? The metal of the true of the true hole will be eroded and suddenly the water enter and my boat sink. Finito! This is why I need to protect my boat from the ground, the external ground connected with, with the short power. And the only way to avoid that those five volts enter in my boat is with this box. This is the function of the galvanic isolator. Protect or block the intrusion of bad currents coming from the pedestal. Finito. That's the reason you need this magic element. The galvanic isolator. Where is located? Look at this, Papa. Follow me. Ground enter here, and ground continue here. Look. The ground enter here, and the ground continue over there into the rest of the boat. This is galvanic isolate. Internally, it's composed for a lot of diodes to block diodes and capacitors to storage and dissipate. This is why they have fins, aluminum fins, to dissipate the energy storage by heat. Like it, guys? It's clear the explanations. What is the only equipment used to block bad currents coming from the building into my boat? The galvanic isolator. That's it. No, because I have no, my friend. You have galvanic. Is no, you don't have. You, you, your boat is not protected. That's it. Finito. The capacity of this is 30 amps because the capacity of the main breaker in the AC panel is 30 amps. It's according with that. Okay. okay, guys, look at this. Come on. That's the short power cable, you see? This is the AC outlet. You see, hot, neutral, and ground. Hot and neutral enter in the transfer switch. But the ground, the ground enter in the galvanic isolator after the galvanic isolator return here and continue for the house. That's clear? Mm -hmm. Ah, look at this. The ground enter here. After that, the ground enter in the bonding conductor and the bonding conductor finish in the sacrificial anode. And all the metallic elements, all the case metallics are connected to the bonding conductor. This is the bonding conductor, this is the galvanic isolator, and this is the sacrificial anode. Ah, excuse me. The ground. Look. AC, a, a hot, neutral, and ground enter in the AC panel. And inside of the AC panel, I have ground boost bar, and neutral boost bar, and breakers. And the ground will be connected here, will be connected here with the bonding conductor, and the bonding here. That's clear? Now it's clear what is the function of this element. Look, if the ground from the marina 
enter contaminated with current, that current enter until this point. In this point, it's black. And after that, my ground continue in my boat clean. Mm -hmm. This is the function of the galvanic isolator. 